It's late. I've been up researching. And the reason why is probably the same reason you're here. What the heck just happened to the EV tax credit? Big disclaimer, this video only concerns half or $3,750 of the full $7,500 new car EV tax credit under the Inflation Reduction Act. The other $3,750 is very complicated. So if your car qualifies for the tax credit based on the information in this video, understand that it's only potentially half of the credit that it may qualify for. It could qualify for the other half, but we need more information to know that. That being said, let's get into what we know. Here's how you qualify for the EV tax credit in order of importance to you. New cars first. There is now an income requirement. You need to make less than $300,000 a year per household or $225,000 as the head of household or $150,000 as an individual in order to qualify. If you don't meet those requirements right there, you're out for the tax credit. If that's true, let's move on. If you're buying a sedan, is that sedan less than $55,000 MSRP? If yes, continue on. If you are buying an SUV or a pickup truck, is the MSRP less than $80,000? If yes, move on. So now we know your income and the price qualifies. Now we need to know, is your vehicle that you plan to buy manufactured in North America? Not the United States. Obviously, the United States is included. But, for example, let's take the Mustang Mach-E. The Mustang Mach-E is not an American car as far as assembly. It is built in Mexico. But Mexico is in North America, which means the Mach-E qualifies for the $3,750 of the tax credit. Unless you load it up one of the more expensive models, at which point it doesn't qualify for the price component, and it's out. That's how complicated it is. So, if you meet the income requirements, your MSRP meets the price requirement, and your vehicle is built in the right countries, that means you're getting one half of the tax credit. Now, in 2023, this doesn't change how you would get it. That doesn't change until 2024, at which point the dealer, and yes, Tesla under the definition of this bill qualifies as a dealer, can give you that credit at the point of sale. So, as if that wasn't confusing enough, the following vehicles are not made in North America and therefore will not net you a tax credit anymore. Audi e-tron, Fisker Ocean, Genesis GV60, Hyundai Ioniq 5, Hyundai Ioniq 6, Hyundai Kona Electric, Hyundai Nexo, Jaguar I-Pace, Kia EV6, Kia Niro Electric, Lexus RZ, Mazda MX-30, Mercedes-Benz EQB, Nissan Aria, Polestar 2, Subaru Solterra, Toyota BZ4X, Toyota Mirai, because yes, hydrogen cars are involved now as well, they didn't used to be, and the Volvo C40. Those vehicles are not manufactured in North America and would not qualify for the tax credit, period. The next list of cars all cost too much to qualify, and here's that monumentally long list. Audi e-tron GT, BMW i4, i7, iX, Chevy Silverado EV, depending on the trim level. Ford F-150 Lightning, depending on the trim level. Genesis G80 Electric, GMC Hummer EV, Lucid Air, Mercedes-Benz EQE, Mercedes-Benz EQS, Porsche Taycan, the Rivian R1T, most of those are out. The Tesla Cybertruck, most of those are out. However, we don't know for sure because of pricing. Tesla Model X, all of those are out. Tesla Model S, all of those are out. So what does that leave? Here's the list of cars that could potentially qualify for the EV tax credit right now. Cadillac Lyric, only if they decide to classify it as an SUV and not a wagon. The Chevy Blazer EV, the Chevy Bolt, the Chevy Bolt EUV, the Chevy Silverado EV, certain trims, the Ford F-150 Lightning, certain trims, the Ford Mustang Mach-E, certain trims, the Nissan Leaf, the Rivian R1S, certain trims, the Rivian R1T, certain trims, the Tesla Cybertruck, if it's not too expensive, the Tesla Model 3, depending on where the battery comes from and how expensive it is, and the Tesla Model Y, depending on where the battery comes from, what the model is, and if they decide to classify it as an SUV. And finally, the Volkswagen ID4, some 2023 and forward models will be made in Tennessee, making them eligible for the credit. 
But wait, there's more. There's a used car credit now. All you need for that is this list, starting with your income limits are $150,000 for joint, $112,500 for head of household, and $75,000 for individual filers. The credit is $4,000, or up to 30% of the sale price of the used EV, whichever number is lower, but only if the car is bought from a dealership. Are you still happy with the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022? Because 70% of EVs now no longer qualify for the credit. Is it good for Tesla? Sure, better than it was. Is it good for GM? Sure, better than it was. But a lot of companies are taking a big hit, including pretty much all of the startups. Am I going to hold judgment on the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022? I'm a glass half full kind of guy, and I'm going to hold my judgment for finding out when all these battery component schematics come out and we know what other parts of the credit will help us out. And I am optimistic about the lack of a cap in sales. It used to be 200,000 vehicles and that company is out. There is no longer a cap on the number of vehicles that a car company can sell before the credit is phased out. And that goes all the way through 2032. But for the average buyer, this is a confusing bill. And instead of saying, hey, I bought a car with a battery, I'm going to get a tax credit, you need to be an expert on this piece of legislation. If you have any questions about the tax credit and whether or not your car or car you want to buy will qualify, please let me know down below. And let me know if this is a good thing. What do you think? Was this bill designed to give dealers more sales and consumers fewer credits? Or is it a way to push manufacturing into the United States? And do you think this will have a positive net effect going forward? Please let me know how you feel about that down below. Any questions, hit me up in the comments. Subscribe for more. We'll see you next time. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you.